Hello and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are going to talk on the topic of how to print all the jumping numbers smaller than or equal to a given value. So obviously the first question which arises is what are jumping numbers? A number is called a jumping number if all its adjacent digits differ by one. Like for example, ten is a jumping number where the adjacent digits one and zero differ by one. Or let's say the example three, two, one, two, three, four is a jumping number where the adjacent digits three and two differ by one, two and one differ by one, one and two differ by one, two and three differ by one, and three and four differ by one. So the whole number three, two, one, two, three, four is a jumping number. So now let's look at the problem statement. The problem statement says that given a number x, I have to print all the jumping numbers which are less than or equal to x. Like for example, if I am given x is equal to 20, so I have to print all the jumping numbers which are less than or equal to 20. So those are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Like the single digit numbers are jumping numbers since uh, there are no two digits to compare between. But in double digit uh, numbers, we begin comparing the adjacent digits 0 and 1, 1 and 2 and so they become jumping numbers. Now that we understand the problem statement properly, let's look at a simple brute voltage solution to this problem. So the solution is I traverse through all the numbers starting from 0 to x and check if that specific number is a jumping number or not. If the number is a jumping number, I'll print it or else I'll ignore it. So this is a simple brute force solution with a time complexity of O of x where x is the number which I am provided with. To all these numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 because if you think about it. 0 8 is actually 8 and although 0 8 violates the jumping numbers rule that the adjacent number adjacent digits should differ by 1 0 8 is actually 8 and 8 has no uh, 8 has actually no adjacent digits and so it doesn't violate the jumping numbers principle so but from 1 I can go to only 2 or 0 or from 2 I can only go to 1 or 3 like for example let's say if the given x is equal to 30 so what I'll print is first I'll print 0 then I'll print all these 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 then I will go from 0 to 1 then I'll go from 1 to 2 so the number which is formed is 12 and since 12 is less than 30 I'll print 12 then I'll go from 1 to 3 and the number which is formed is 10 and since 10 is less than 30 I'll print 10 from 2 I'll go to 1 since 21 is less than 30 I'll print 21 and from 2 similarly I'll go to 3 since 23 is less than 30 I'll print 23 from 3 I can go to 2 and 4 right so from 3 I'll go to 2 that is 32 so since 32 is greater than 30 I will return like I'll, like I'll not print anything from 3 similarly I'll go from 3 to 4 and check 4 to 3 to and check 4 to 5 and check and so on and so forth so the numbers which will be printed as jumping numbers are these numbers 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 12 10 21 and 23 note from the number 0 and 9 we can go only in one direction like if I have the number 0 I can go only to 1 if I have the number 9 I can go to number 8 for the rest of the numbers let's say for like say 6 I can go in both direction which are 5 and 7 or for 7 let's say I can go in both direction which are 6 and 8 but for the number 0 and 9 I can go only in one direction so now that we have seen the solution let's look at the C++ implementation of the solution so this is the print jumping number uh, function 
since the uh, special case arises only when zero is the first digit so we directly create uh, an iterator we directly print zero and then create an iterator i which iterates from one to nine or uh, check while checking the condition whether i is less than x and then calling bfs on all these different i's uh, different like differently so the bfs function is the norm is a normal bfs function over here the only difference is we check if the number num is less than equal to x if the number num is less than x we print it and then we uh, push in all the numbers which we can go to from num since these are the special case of 0 and 9 so from 0 we only go to last digit plus 1 from 9 we only go to last digit minus 1 and uh, for all the num uh, rest of the numbers all the rest of the last digits what we do is we multiply the num by 10 and then we add the last digit minus 1 and the last digit plus 1 respectively and then we push it inside the queue queue and we keep on doing it till the queue is not empty so that's it that's the whole function so now that we have seen the solution let's look at the dry run of the solution so let's say we are given that x is equal to 40 so what we'll do is we will print 0 in the start then we will start with 1 since from 1 we can go to 0 and 2 so first first of all we'll print 1 then from 1 we'll go to 0 since 10 is less than 40 less than or equal to 40 we print 10 and then we go to 2 since 12 is less than or equal to 40 we print 12 then we go back we go to 2 similarly for 2 since 21 is less than or equal to 40 we print 21 for 23 is less than or equal to 40 so we print 23 similarly we print 3 32 is less than 40 we print 32 34 is less than 40 we print 34 since for 4 all the numbers which are formed are 43 and 45 which are both greater than 40 so we won't print 43 and 45 similarly for 5 since 54 and 56 are greater than 40 so we won't print them for 6 65 and 67 are greater than 40 similarly for 7 8 9 their respective jumping numbers which are formed from them are greater than 40 so we will only print the single digits which are 7 8 and 9 respectively so that's the try then well thank you for watching please leave your comments and visit geeks for geeks again thank you